Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about propulsion system. Our question is what is propulsion? The word propulsion is derived from two Latin words pro meaning before or forwards and pelre means to drive. So that gives the meaning of propulsion to be drive forwards or push forward. Propulsion system is a machine that produces thrust to push an object forward. So that is what is meant by propulsion. Our next question is, what is a jet engine? The answer is, jet engines propels an aircraft forward with a great force which is produced by a tremendous thrust from them and hence it allows the plane to fly. So that is why jet engines are used in aircraft. Our next question is what will be the working cycle of a jet engine? Our first phase of the working cycle of jet engine is air intake. If you consider for a subsonic aircraft, the inlet is a duct which is required to ensure a smooth airflow into the engine. Despite air approaching the inlet from directions other than straight ahead. So to focus the airflow in a particular direction we have air intake. A second phase is compressor. If you see the compressor is made up of stages and each stage consists of rotating blades and stationary stators or wings. As the air moves through the compressor, its pressure and temperature will increase. A third phase of the jet engine is fuel burner. Fuel burner produces extra thrust by burning the fuel in the jet pipe. So thus, the burning part is your third part that is your fuel burner. Followed by a fourth phase that is exhaust or nozzle. The turbine exhaust gases pass through the propelling nozzle to produce a high velocity jet. The nozzle is usually convergent with a fixed low area. Our fifth phase is combustion chamber. If you see in combustion chamber, the fuel is burned continuously after initially being ignited during the engine start. So thus, this will be the working cycle of your jet engine. Next, we are going to see what are the types of jet engines. Our first type is ramjet. In ramjet, the thrust is produced by passing the hot exhaust from the combustion of a fuel through a nozzle and the nozzle accelerates the flow and the reaction 
to its acceleration produces a thrust. This thrust is used for moving the airplane forward. Our next jet type is turbojet. Turbojet is an air breathing jet engine and it is usually used in an aircraft. It consists of a gas turbine with a propelling nozzle and the gas turbine has an air inlet, a compressor and a combustion chamber followed by a turbine. So these are the parts of your gas turbine and the turbojet moves using your air. Our next type of jet engine is turbofan. The turbofan or fan jet is a type of air breathing jet engine that is widely used in an aircraft propulsion. The word turbofan is a portmanteau of turbine and fan so it will have the function of the bow. The turbo position takes mechanical energy from the combustion and the fan that uses the mechanical energy from the gas turbine to accelerate air reverts. So here the gas turbine accelerates the air rearwards and thus causing a thrust. So that makes the third type of jet engine turbofan. If you see in ramjet, the following are the specifications of ramjet. Ramjet has no moving parts and its compression ratio depends on forward speed. They consist of three sections, an inlet to the compressed oncoming air, a combustor to inject and combust fuel and it is followed by a nozzle. So this is the specification of a ram jet. Ramjet requires a relatively high speed to efficiently compress the oncoming air and they are most efficient in supersonic speeds. It has no static thrust guided missile systems and all the space vehicles use this type of jet. Moving on to our turbojet. Turbojet engine is a reaction engine. So here your turbojet engine works by compressing the air with an inlet and a compressor. The mixing fuel with the compressed air, burning the mixture in the combustor and then passing the hot high pressure air through a turbine and a nozzle. So this gives the working of the turbojet engine. By compressing the air with an inlet and a compressor and it mixes the fuel, burning the mixture and passing the hot high pressure air through a turbine and nozzle, it produces the thrust required to uplift the aircraft. If you see in turbojet engines, 
you have substantial increased in trust and that can be obtained by employing an afterburner use it in fighter planes in fighter planes it is used and it is also used in concord next we are going to see about turbofan the turbofan engine is a gas turbine engine and it is very similar to that of turbojet if you see turbofans differ from turbojet as they have an additional component that is the additional component is your fan the objective of this sort of bypass system is to increase the thrust without increasing the fuel consumption so that makes the fuel consumption to be low and you will have an increased thrust with low amount of fuel that makes your system much more efficient in turbofan it achieves the increased thrust by increasing the total air mass flow and it reduces the velocity within the same total energy so the amount of energy that is supplied will be the same and it will reduce the velocity by increasing your total air mass flow that is how turbofan makes your engine much more efficient here you can see the working of turbofan and how it can be applied in aircraft Next we are going to see the difference between jet engine and a rocket. If you see in jet engine the oxygen from the atmosphere is used for the combustion. Whereas in your rockets they carry their own oxygen for combustion. Your jet engine works only in atmosphere. whereas your rockets work in vacuum as well as in atmosphere your jet engine uses a liquid fuel whereas your rocket uses liquid or solid fuel jet engine has high specific impulse whereas your rockets will have low specific impulse jet engine will have a complex structure whereas your rocket will have a simple structure jet engine gives you high efficiency whereas your rockets will give you low efficiency so these are the major differences between your jet engine and rocket next we are going to see about rockets a rocket is nothing but a missile or a spacecraft aircraft or any other vehicle that obtains thrust from a rocket engine Rocket engine exhaust is formed entirely from a propellant carried within the rocket before use. The rocket engines work by action and reaction.
Our next question is Why jet engines are preferred for aircraft instead of reciprocating engines like in cars? Reciprocating engines cannot obtain high speeds as jet engine due to the friction between your moving parts. Hence, your jet engines are preferred for aircraft instead of reciprocating engines which has friction. The other reason is that it can produce thrust. So the thrust produced by your jet engines is much more efficient while you use it in aircraft. Hence, jet engines are preferred for aircraft. Our next question is why we talk about thrust instead of power in jet engines? Because jet engines are only used for propulsion and what matters in propulsion is your propulsive power and the advanced speed. So this is provided when we talk about thrust instead of power. So the propulsive power increases if your thrust is more. But when the engine is separately built from the propeller as in reciprocating engines or turbo shafts and so on, the engine performances are given separately as a shaft power and a shaft speed or a combination as a shaft torque. So, this makes thrust to be emphasized more than power in jet engine. The jet engine will directly push forward with the shaft engine. However, it is the propeller that pushes. Notice that the interest is in propulsive power and not just on the thrust. But jet engines yield a thrust nearly independent on the flight speed for the same ambient conditions. Thank you so much for joining GTEC on propulsion system.